talk about AA similarity. AA is angle angle and it refers to triangles and what it says is that with triangles you only need to know that two of the pairs of angles in two triangles are actually congruent to know that the two triangles are similar. And that's because even though the size of the triangle may be different if the two, if there are two angles which are adjacent, and they must be with the triangle since there's only three angles available, then the third angle can only meet at a specific, in a specific relation to the other two. This other angle will have to be the same. Um, and you can think of that uh, from a number of standpoints. You can realize that no matter what this first angle, say Z, is, and no matter what Y is, the only possibility once we have those two fixed is the remainder of 180 degrees once those two have been taken away. So if A and B are the same size as Y and Z, then that same remainder is going to be available for angle C as it is for angle X. So no matter what size these triangles are, we know that the triangles have to be exactly the same shape if two of the angles match. The other way to see that is to put one triangle on top of the other. I can sort of drag this one over there. I'm going to get part of that little similarity thing, but oh well. If we move this triangle over to the right, you can see that if I set them on top of each other, here, that angle up there on top and on the lower right is going to be exactly the same. And because those up, uh, upper and lower angles are exactly the same, the triangle can only continue in that direction towards C in exactly the same way for both triangles. So the top triangle may be, or the bottom triangle, I mean, may be bigger, but it's only because it continues on at exactly the same angle. So that lower angle is going to be the same if the other two are. And that means that if we can prove that two triangles have the same two angles out of three that we know the two triangles then are similar and if the triangles are similar it means that their sides are in proportion and that means if we know any of the sides of one of the triangles and a corresponding side of the other one then we know everything about the comparison if for instance we know that AC is 5 and XY is 10 then we know that everything about this triangle here is twice as big as it is on this triangle here all right, let's take a look at how this works with the example questions.